This is a song, and we're going to do three of these songs that were written a, a long time ago, like 20 years maybe, say, by a woman named Kathy Lowe in, in New England. New Hampshire. New Hampshire, which is near New England, right? It is very <laughs> nice. And what's really fun is he is, you know, a very famous uh, musician. I don't know my brass from my elbow, by the way. Which distortion? Distort that one. A good so, one is like a good steak or rare medium well done. We like that. Good. So Rich and I would start talking about this last year at the AG in Boston. And said, well, we ought to do something to combine our, our interests and, and have been working on this program on, uh, on musical fun and literary fun and verbal fun. And I'm very proud to be working with a man who has now published over 50 books. I call this house one book. I am a glutton for publishing. <laughs> I called his house and I asked to speak to him and he said, and his wife said, well, he's writing a book now. I said, oh, that's okay, I'll wait. He'll be getting done with it soon and start on the other. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one with the guitar first. So I'm gonna start off. And again, as you can tell, um, we've um, of course had, had, had plenty of time to thoroughly rehearse this. And split we'll our infinitives too. We'll start. <laughs> <laughs> there are straight and dull, boring folks. There are bright and witty people too. Though we meet with those who never get our jokes, we prefer the punny ones who do. Keep on the funny side, always on the funny side. Keep on the funny side of life. We will brighten up your day if we don't drive you insane. And you keep on the funny side of life. What time do we have to? We have to go till. I'm getting to. You gotta think of 20 or 2:45. We have to be. The next program starts at three. Okay. 2:45. Oh, yes. we're okay. Yes. Good. Yeah. Unless, unless we have a dental problem at 2.30. I transit. That's a tender medication. Right. I don't want to be down in the mouth about that. <laughs> Obviously, he has his wisdom tooth extracted. <laughs> I'm still a wise guy. Again, on that song, if you don't know where it is or how to find it, email, email me on that one, bill at billshipper.com. Shipper. Bill Shipper. One who ships. I work for a transportation company. See, I saw it on an invoice. True story. And uh, and and you if you want any of these other materials. invoice today, it's an Really? Oh, thank you. As long as I swear this is unrehearsed, that you can tell. You can tell. As long as you pay the bill, I'm happy. We have a we have a couple minutes. Can I add one more into it into the mix? Sure, you're the you. boss. Is that okay? He is the I boss. You are the boss. No, you you're the boss because your boss is your backward double S O B. Think about it. <laughs> it it's a reverse palindrome. Go ahead. All right, we, I mentioned this earlier. One of the funny, funny country song titles, a Homer and Jethro song. Um, can I sing it for you? Yeah. 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 So are you are you able? Of the it should be of May. I sing it for you. Oh, that's right. Wow. Thank when you. I was a teacher and my students would say, can I go to the bathroom, I would say, I Are sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Permission versus ability. Think May I sing it for you, Dad Gum? Yes. <laughs> Dad Gum. Drat. Drat. <clears throat> the bell has tolled, we're told, the hour to end our tale draws nigh. Without a do we 